We're asked which of the following is equivalent to 6x squared plus 5x over 3x plus 1. Pause this video and see if you can work through this before we do it together. All right, now let's work through this together. There's two ways that you could approach this. One is to do algebraic long division. So another way of rewriting this is saying we are going to divide 3x plus 1 into 6x squared plus 5x. And if algebraic long division is unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to look it up on the non-SAT part of Khan Academy. But the way we look at it, we look at the highest degree term, which here is the first degree term, and we see, all right, how many times does it go into 6x squared? Well, 3x goes into 6x squared 2x times. And so we write that in the first degree space here, so 2x, and then 2x times 3x is 6x squared, and then 2x times 1 is equal to 2x. And then we subtract these from above. So it's very much like the long division that you learned in elementary school. It's just we're doing with algebraic expressions now. And so these cancel out. 5x minus 2x is equal to 3x. Now how many times does 3x plus 1 go into 3x? Well, one way to think about it, 3x goes into 3x one time. So let's just write that in the zeroth degree column. You could view that as the constant column. 1 times 3x plus 1 is 3x and 1. Now we want to subtract this. And we are going to let be left with, those go away, and you're just left with a negative 1. And you can't divide 3x anymore into negative 1. So you could view that as the remainder. And so this whole thing is going to be equal to 2x plus 1, and then minus 1 over 3x plus 1. Minus 1 over 3x plus 1. And you can see that this is choice D right over here. Now the other way that you could do it, if you forgot how to do algebraic long division or you think this is just taking too long, given that you have multiple choices here, you could just try out a simple number that's easy to compute. I wouldn't try out 0 or 1 because whether you just multiply by 0 or 1 or whether you square them, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, so it's not, it might not differentiate itself so much. So what I would do is maybe use a number like 2 and then see which of these other expressions are the same when you evaluate 2. So for example, if I say 6 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 over 3 times 2 plus 1, this is equal to, let's see, 6 times 4, this is 24. 5 times 2 is 10. This is 6. So we get 34 over 7. 34 over 7. Now if you put 2 in 2x, you just get 4. That's not 34 over 7. Rule that one out. You put 2 over here, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 is 10. That's not 34 over 7, rule that out. You put 2 here, you get 4 minus 1 over, let's see, it looks like 1 over 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so minus 1 seventh. And let's see, 4 is the same thing as 28 over 7 minus 1 seven which is equal to 27 over 7. Still not 34 over 7. So if you're doing this on a standardized test and you feel confident in your math so far, you might be able to deduce its D, but we can verify that. 2 times 2, and once again, I picked the number 2 just for simple computation, plus 1 minus 1 over 3 times 2 plus 1. So this is going to give us 5 right over here, and this is 1 seventh. So 5 minus 1 seventh. So that's the same thing as 35 over 7 minus 1 seventh. This is 5. That is equal to 34 over 7. So when you use the number 2, you also see that this one evaluates to the same value. Now it's possible you try out some number, a 2 or a 3, and several of them come to the same value, in which case you could rule out some, but that's where the algebraic division, long division is more useful. You know for sure what the choice is going to be.